welcome cancers oh my god i'm already at cancers all right cancers this is the month of may let's check in oh you um cancers you're dealing with enduring some sort of a situation that is transpiring um you are really going within and trying to resolve some sort of a situation um a whole lot of inner um you're looking for inner strength you're going through some sort of a problem issues and you're trying to endure the situation a corporation institution a lot of you are having problem with some sort of a at workplace or with a corporation institution that a lot of you are dealing with oh i see some of you cancers wanted some sort of a new start and some sort of a new start could come for some of you cancer so that's is good so um there is some sort of a problem and some sort of a issues that was going on in a corporation institution um a lot of you the energy of uh, some sort of a new start some of you cancers wanted with your partner might come in um it's not a surety it has to do with uh, um some sort of a problem that you're dealing with um, I think it can be a divorce that some of you might find in yourself divorcing. So you have fire energy in the first week, earth energy in the second week. Third week, uh, you have the energy of the fool. And the energy of the fool is about some sort of a new start with your husband, your wife that you're hoping for. Um, so I see you young ladies are here and you young ladies are the one that is going through a whole lot of problems. Um, you young ladies between the ages of uh, 18 and 50 are having a whole lot of problems. You're enduring and it has, and your problems is going to be coming to an end. Some sort of a completion is coming, um, for you Pisces cancer, uh, um, cancer ladies between 18 and 50 um the prince of wands is here and i see the energy of the prince of wands is a aries the or fire sign person is also having some sort of a problem um you cancers could have some sort of a problem with this person at the workplace um and uh, um i see that uh, some sort of a completion is here for a family now, whoever this family is and whatever is transpiring, you cancers along with a, um, uh, a Aries the or Sagittarian man is having a whole lot of problem. A lot of people are going to be recognizing that you cancers want some sort of a new start in love. Okay. Is this going to be at Nana? Um, no, I see heartbreaks is going to be coming up for you cancers. Um, because it's as if your partner decide not to go in. Um, your marriage could be ending and your partner decide that they do not want to move on. A lot of you want to work on your marriage. Is this going to be happening? A lot of you are hoping to work on your marriage and repair some sort of a damage. Um, but I see that this is not going to be happening. Peace is in the reverse. Your partner, your husband, recognize what you have done. And I see right now it is hard for this person to forgive you um, for what you have done. Okay. So it is a whole lot, a whole lot of uh, um, problems in marriage and relationship. Um, problems with your sisters and your brothers is coming up. Uh, number 33, this is um, hitting you cancers, major, major, major. A lot of your young people are trying to endure a situation at the workplace or with a corporation institution. Some sort of a completion is here for a young Aries or Sagittarian. This person is between the ages of 18 and uh, 35. A completion is here for this person. Um, and um, whatever is transpiring, I see whatever the completion is, it has to be um, for some of you is completion would work or for some of you is an end. Some of you, um, uh, this um, young Aries, they are such dear in person, want some sort of a new start and want to work on some sort of a relationship with you. Um, then I see the Ten of Cups, some sort of a um, problems from family issue. And a lot of you wants to work on your marriage. 
and wants to work on a family issue and problems that was there. Heartbreaks at the workplace and I see no peace comes in for a lot of you with some sort of an issue at the workplace. So a lot of you had open for to successful overcome some sort of a family problems, but I see heartbreaks is here. Um, you young ladies between the ages of uh, uh, 18 and uh, 45, 50 are having a lot of problems with your siblings, your sister, your brother, and your husband and your partner. Family, there is an um, uh, some sort of a 10 of uh, the 10, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, some sort of a family issue. Um, it's going to be coming to an end. I see a lot of you. It's going to be mulek um, for you guys. Um, it is very um, hard for you um, young ladies. So, and uh, a lot of you young ladies who are married are having uh, problems with your marriage because something came out and your partner is going to decide no longer to move forward with you. The energy of the fool is about Uranus. Okay. And a lot of you are having marriage problems and uh, the other person do not want to work on uh, this relationship problems. Okay. Mm, yeah. Then we see an Aries C or a Sagittarius. This is a young person between the age of 18 and 35. Wanted some sort of a new start at the workplace. It's not going to be happening. They have now recognized what this young person and their family has done. And I see a corporation institution is making sure that this person don't get a new contract. So whoever this person is, is between the ages of 18 and 35 has done something. And a corporation institution is now recognizing and is going to be making sure to put a band on this person. I don't know what they do. Um, it is good to have a private reading. So I see... Um, Esperanza, a lot of you Pisces Cancer are trying to bring some sort of a balance to your world. And it is hard. It is hard because you have a child and it is very hard for you alone with this child, I told you. And a lot of you women are having some sort of a problems with your marriage, uh, especially young women. You have problems with your marriage and I think your marriage could be ending. Okay. Um. Uh, a lot of you might get some sort of a new contract being offered to you. Um, yes. Um, and I see um, a lot of you, your fortune, you were open. A lot of you women were open for some sort of a big payout, but it's not going to be happening. Uh, yes. They are now recognizing what a young lady have done. So I see your husband or your, um, or you young ladies recognizing what your partner has done. You wanted some sort of a new start. I see that some of you are not feeling well and some of you are going to be recognizing that I've lose a battle. Uh, some of you young ladies really want some sort of a new contract. And it could be coming in for some of you. Okay, some of you are going to be, um, you know, ask, so some of you are going to be, um, could be buying a house, but creating some sort of a new contract. I see here a young Aries Lee or Sagittarian person is really thinking and open for some sort of a start for them. Whoever this person is, is between the ages of 18, uh, is a Leo person and they're waiting and hoping for some sort of a new contract, or whoever this Leo person is. But um, this contract or is for a family, a woman and her family. Um, but um, I see that you Kansas will have it, but this uh, Leo will not have it. Okay. I see there is some sort of an investigation on you Kansas. They are investigating some of you Kansas, a corporation institution is investigating some sort of a contract that you cancers have and they are recognizing um something about this contract but it's not very good and they're looking at you cancers to um it's as if they're recognizing uh 
um, they're thinking about ending your contract, Cancers. Um, whatever the problem and the issue is, um, some of you Cancers could have had ooh, some sort of a problem and issue. Um, whatever that was happening and transpiring, I see this corporation is going to be thinking about ending your contract, Cancers. I don't know the reason why. What have you done? Um, why they have decided that they want to end your contract, Cancer. But I see um, a corporation is going to be thinking about ending your contract. And I think it's something that you Cancers have done, especially you Cancers at the workplace um, who were open for some sort of a contract. They're going to be thinking, I don't know, this person family um, have gotten themselves in some sort of a legal issue. I don't know if we should keep this person on. But it is a serious, serious thing. A lot of you cancers are trying to figure out how you're going to be balancing out the situation with work and with your kids. And I see that a whole lot of you cancers is worried whether or not you're going to be getting some sort of a new contract. I see some of you cancers, um, family heartbreaks for some of you cancers and their, and the family. Um, because um, they are going to be losing their fortune. I don't know what you cancers have done and what was created. Um, so I see a lot of you cancers in thoughts because of some sort of a news that come in that uh, um, uh, a contract is up. So it could be um, that um, your, um, your um, manager, your uh, as, as if your manager, or what you call that, your apartment manager could have sent a, a letter um, to some of you cancers. There is problem. Um, some of you young um, women with kids are worried. Um, and some of you young wives are worried because it's as if you, some sort of information come. Um, it's as if some of you are, are having problems with, uh, you, 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 you're getting evicted. This is a, a situation, cancer, that you be, could, could be getting evicted. Yeah. And you young ladies are, tr are trying to find some, um, some sort of a way to resolve um, the situation, some sort of a um, way um, to really resolve the situation. And um, I see a corporation institution is going to be recognizing that uh, um, they're not going to be going further with some of you. I see um, women, um, business women, you're going to be standing your ground and creating your own financial stability. Okay, I see young women, you're in, and some of you who have kids are trying to figure out some sort of a way how um, your family are going to be helping with the kids when you're off at work. I see no husband here for some of you. Um, your husband could be in another place. You have to be, um, you know, finding out a way if family could look at the kids when you're at work. Um, then we see um, some sort of a problem. And this is a, um, a situation that has to do with strength. You're trying to find some sort of a strength um, to endure. And it's like for young women without kids. Okay. Okay, some sort of a new start. Um, it's going. Uh, some of you are going to be working on your marriage and healing your marriage. Okay, I see that. Um, uh, uh, some of you are going to be losing your fortune. Heartbreaks. A lot of you cancers are going to be losing your fortune. But it's as if it wasn't for you in the first place. Okay, so you can't lose what you never have because it wasn't for you. I see a whole lot of problems with marriage. And some of you women are going to be wanting to work on your marriage. Some of you men are like, I'm tired and I want to end this. Okay. Soulmates are coming up for a lot of you. So a lot of you cancers who... Um, we're looking for a soulmate. Yes, Imperial is happening. You're trying to balance out some sort of an issue. A lot of you are looking at yourself and is recognizing that. Enlightenment is coming up because a lot of you are going to be recognizing that. I need to accept and um, recognize what I have done. 
a lot of you women who was looking for some sort of a soulmate relationship um it is definitely going to be coming in so a whole lot of you women who were really looking for soulmate relationship who was you know tired of being alone that is going to be coming in um i see that this is a really positive energies for a lot of you women who has been open for soulmate relationship this is definitely going to be happening for you then um we are looking at work i see some sort of a new start at the workplace a lot of you business women are going to be have having some sort of a successful beginning where um you are going to be taking back your powers okay then um we see with enlightenment a lot of you are going to be recognizing i have to recognize the things that i have done okay so it as if some of you um you're going to be called upon to look at uh, um a certain decision that you made in your life um and recognize um the decision that you have created every one of us we create uh, and and there is a lot of worries a lot of worries for a lot of you um with your marriage a lot of worries for a lot of you you might be getting sick or um you might be sick a lot of you are worried whether or not you're going to be uh, better and i see enlightenment pray ask for healing um and this will be done so soulmate um impartiality and enlightenment is going to be the energy of your month and a lot of you that is sick um ask for divine help and divine protection okay because with help and divine protection that is going to be helping you a lot of you are in thoughts in thoughts about a young person trying to figure out and this young person is an Aries D or a Sagittarian. And whoever this young person is, you're so in thoughts about this person, trying to figure out what is the best possibility for this person and how can I help this person. Um, a whole lot of wonderful things is going to be happening. We have the yin and yang. A lot of you are going to be working on yourself. Um, we have... Uh, a lot of wealth could be coming in. Let's say that you have your own business. I see that this is going to be taken off, especially business people. But I see a lot of worries. Um, it's as if some sort of an energy um, negative. It's as if you feel as if negative forces is on you. And you need to release this, okay? You need to tell the universe, um, protect me from lower energies and negative forces, Okay. So I see if you are looking how worried you are, it's as if you feel as if something or some sort of a negative energy. And ladies and gentlemen, if you work with negative energy, you need to understand that it is going to be coming back. It wants something. So if you're always someone who use negative energy to get what you want, at some stage, you got to pay up. That is it. Once you start to walk in the, the light of negative energy, they are going to be wanting a payback okay so it is uh, um where your child die or um where they're they're going to be um pulling your string until you deliver to them and that is the difference between the light and the darkness the light is always uh, um, um enlightening you and the darkness is always taken from you and once you are a person that work with negative forces and that is it. It is time for you to pay up. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I gotta go, but it's a wonderful month. Enjoy. Namaste.